This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm David Byrd. Taliban militants attacked protesters Wednesday in Afghanistan who dared to pull down their banner and replace it with the country's flag. At least one person was reported killed amid fears about how the insurgents would govern the nation. The attack in Jalalabad came as many Afghans were hiding at home or trying to flee the country, fearful of abuses by the loosely controlled militant group. At the State Department, Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman said a definite message is being sent to the Taliban. We expect them to allow all American citizens, all third country nationals, and all Afghans who wish to leave to do so safely and without harassment. At the Pentagon, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said the U.S. military would keep pushing the pace of evacuations. We're really working hard uh, to get as many people through uh, as possible. And quite frankly, we're not, we're, it's obvious, we're not close to where we want to be. Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Mark Milley pledged to not leave anyone behind in Afghanistan. Deposed Afghan President Ashraf Ghani on Wednesday defended his leaving his country as the Taliban closed in on the capital city, Kabul. In a video posted on his Facebook page, Ghani also confirmed that he was in the United Arab Emirates. Ghani also indirectly tried to quash an accusation by Afghanistan's ambassador to Tajikistan that he had stolen millions of dollars in state funds. The president said he was forced to leave Afghanistan with one set of traditional clothes, a vest, and the sandals I was wearing. Ghani left Afghanistan Sunday just as the Taliban approached Kabul. On Wednesday, the UAE said it had accepted him and his family on account of humanitarian.